sale, 1965 Corvette. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 65 Corvette, finished in factory correct, Milano maroon with maroon interior, 327, four speed, and leather seats. As always, go around it, tell everything I do know about it. Point on anything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. And of course, we will start here in the front. And uh, as always, very happy to have another C2 here. You know how much we love our C1 and C2 Corvettes. Rarely get them anymore. Uh, finally get to drive one too. That was an experience to, to say the least. But anyway, chrome bumper in the front. You see a little white on it, but the condition is there. It, you know, not dented up, stuff like that. Very shiny. And it goes with the car as well. This one's just as about the same, I would say. You know, no damage to it, but a little bit of that white on top. Uh, the headlight door fitment is nice and the way you want it to be. A couple little marks there, maybe it rubbed at some point doing some of the work. And then you see here a couple little touch-ups on the car, um, on the, the piece of the hood. But the quality of the paint is really beautiful, high quality. Uh, the body is straight and it has all the bonding strips in place in all four corners, which is of course nice. Looking down the side here, looks sweet. Uh, the hood looks to line up the way it should. You see another little nick right there. A little mark right there, but lining up the way you expect it to. So let me go ahead and pop the hood now. Oh, it's got the correct hubcaps on there. Skinny white walls, always a great look. Hood opens as it should, of course. And uh, yeah, 327, it's a 66 engine, so it's not number matching. Um, 38. 58174 is the block. Uh, it's got a winner's cast aluminum intake on there, which is nice. You can kind of make that out right there. And Edelbrock carburetor on there. But another thing that I love, the upper and lower control arms have been redone. They're all shiny. Uh, new radiator, uh, new bushings again in the front suspension, new bushings in the front sway bar. Uh, the whole rear suspension was redone as well. You know, lease springs, uh, the arms in the back. So that's all, all good stuff, all good stuff. Uh, you know, stock exhaust manifolds. Again, we like that kind of stuff. You see the shiny control arm down there too. It's got the 365 stick around there. I don't know, I can't comment. And uh, it's a HF suffix on the pad. So yeah, of course, manual steering, four wheel disc brakes standard in 65 actually so this is the first year for that but anyway starting over here going down the side you see a couple little nicks on it but again the paint is super nice it's the original body like i said bonding strips i'll, I'll still stick my hand up there and whatnot as i go around you see how nice the fitment is here as you go down this looks nice the little rocker trim looks super nice as well This one's cracked, that one's not. But the trim all the way around is nice. Your weather stripping in there is nice. The condition of the glass is nice, as well as all the glass. So there's no cracks. And uh, white, white soft top, which is very clean. Not yellowed in the back, no rips. I, I know there's no rips on that side. From what I can show you right now, there's no rips. Anyway. Door fitment's nice all the way up. You see a little nick right on that edge. But we'll open it up and hop on in just in a second. Get out of here. Yeah. Super nice door panel here as well. You know, nice finish in there. Little trim accents look nice. Handles look nice. in there nice down there as well it's got the floor mats in there uh, maroon carpet as well again here's your leather seats you know not too wrinkled because the wrinkling is going to happen with the leather i mean we all know that but nice condition i mean you see a little split seam there you know maybe a, a seamstress could bring that together maroon seat belts as well and i'll flash the back to you real quick nicely finished back there carpet's good i got a picture with the top folded up and the back up that's going to be on the end so you can get a better idea of that Oh. All right, steering wheel, 
right shifter. The clock works. All the gauges work. I mean, that I was just impressed on that alone. Oh, and it has power antenna, which works. It does work. I was testing that the other day. So there's one of your power options. <sighs> but yeah, yeah, feels good being in the in the driver's seat of one of these. I would grab the, tr the key to open up the trunk, but of course there isn't one. See two little marks right there. If I was gonna say there's no bubbles, it's fiberglass. You see a couple little miscellaneous stone chips down there, minor stuff as expected. Just as nice as the front. Actually, I would say a little bit nicer, which is nice to see. focus my camera there we go there we go you see a couple little stains here probably from gas I tried to wipe them off but you probably excuse me really need to buff them out the paint was so shiny I didn't bother buffing it I was I was very pleased there's no marks there's also no checking I, I know I haven't pointed anything out which is nice no spider webs couple little stone chips again there oh and the yeah, bonding strip is up here bonding strip is right here a couple marks on the edge of the door of that that uh, body line but the fitment of the door is nice. Another fantastic door panel, just as nice as the driver's side. The seat shows just a little bit less wear than the uh, driver's one does. Yeah, nice. I love the feeling of the leather. You see a little split right there, but nowhere else on it. We'll be for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both things will be in the description of this video if you'd like to check it out. Uh, comments, questions, let us know. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. 65 Corvette. In factory correct Milano maroon with maroon interior now with leather 327 four speed is your van and trim tag which both pictures will be on the ad um, four wheel disc brakes power antenna radial tires which is a bonus but yeah thank you for watching and we are going to fire it up now, show it drive, and then hop in for the driving. Thank you. I think he was. He could have been.
hums. It's a humdinger. But I don't have the antenna on it, so maybe it would work. like a roasted lamb and pig but I'm, I'd rather go fishing in Florida than go to if you were around yeah oh yeah Probably yellow. I was yellow. I don't remember. But I was talking to somebody. I said, he goes, yeah, I, I have a building in Addison. I said, oh, really? What street? He couldn't remember. What? He couldn't remember. He said, off of Fullerton. He goes, I forget the name of this street. Off of Fullerton. Oh, yeah, Stewart. 